self. No for only never be uno self. So now try for only you be uno. If you was a wannabe, I act like and I go on like. Yeah, you now go come to the same thing. Because them see them father go on like a big spooky woogie doogie. Because remember this, you know. Me tell people this all the while and people think I lie. Every black man is a king. I even have to go, go for him crown and claim the crown. Because you just get the crown and you're not going to know how to deal with the crown. You have to go for your crown. Every woman is a queen. But you have to go for your queenship. You have to go for that and toot it on your head and claim it and own it. Because you will get it and lose it. Because they will take it away from you. Then we take it from you, you know. See? Fire bigs. Remember, you know. No for we. We teach the youth them all for wine. We teach the youth them all for look, girl. We teach the youth them all kind of things, but we not teach them the real thing. We need to teach them self-love. We need to teach them to love themselves. And not only need to teach the youth them to bear them wants. Tell them that every day is not going to be the same every day. Things is going to change. Things is going to change. It's not every day you're going to have money to buy pizza. It's not every day you're going to have money to go to Tutti Frutti. It's not every day you're going to have that. So wants and needs is two different things. So you might get look at Tutti Frutti this week. All for the next two months you might not get none. So you have to learn. And it's not because you see something on the TV, you know, you're going to cry and say you want it now and you want it now. So we need to teach the children about perseverance. And teach them about self-reliance. Teach the youth them to adjust. Because enough of we don't want to adjust. Just like how 20 come, 2020 come, 20, 20 come now and we see the place just get fucked. Because selector used to be busy around a fight and a selector and a talk about feed them spot and some boy in a hat and some boy in a hat. No, no boy in a hat. No, no, we not at. So every man who used to have a spot, this spot there, there but you can't go there if you go there, you got jail in your blood clot. And me not supposed to be in a big man stage and I hide and I run from police when me hear them I come. Me not deal with them I come. Me not deal with them I come. Me if you are running on my big man stage, can me go to the road for try to put a bread on my table. And me I hear them I come. And me I grab my laptop and I run. Me not dip on that. See? So we have to preserve ourselves and prepare ourselves for what's next to come. Can't remember, you know. It's rough, you know, people, and it's going to get rough, you know. You know, long Jimmy Riley say, Here, children, going to get rough. Here, children, it's going to be rough. Can you feel it? Even in the street sometime. You know, long Jimmy Riley said it could get rough. I see Jimmy Riley did and gone there. Tyrus Riley father. And said Tyrus Riley come bust there. And make him father proud. You know what I mean? Paper. We have to wise up. We have to take too long to get wise. We are taking too long. You hear me say, people? We are taking too long to get wise. Girl, idiot. Big up yourself. Go and try your little talent music thing, because it's a, you go on with your thing a long time. See up on TV, on the internet, I watch girl draws and I go on with some something. You're a good youth. You was a good youth. I you want to first man them see wash girl jazz by internet. So that for sure you say you was a real man. Normally people would have laugh. All now people are laugh and them something. There. But you was a real man. You understand? Big up yourself, girl idiot. Big up yourself. And that is a joke and a laughing matter. Big you up. You wash girl jazz by internet. You know what I mean? Empress, where you want? You don't come and come kiss your teeth a while ago. Where you come and come I Richard for?
Yeah, people. So you may say again, seeing all away of faults. All away can change. Seeing but change start within you. You have to want to change yourself. You can change your kids. You can change your yard. You can change everything where you want. But you have to change yourself first. You have to change yourself. Change starts within. Enough away. Look how you know you must stay in the yard. And you beat the pit if you stay in the yard. But the pitney, I go always want to go out because them feel like if they not go out, they miss out on something. This is the conversation that we need to sit and have with the children them now. Because remember when we little, a lot of you born in America. A lot of you born in, born in America. While I was born and raised in Jamaica, in the garrison. Sheba, I go out with herself and her husband. Lord of his mercy. See him? What parents I say stay inside, stay inside, stay inside, stay inside. She could have beat it. I don't say Alicia question. Alicia, ask me that question again. You seem like you will reason out things and kids need to see that. Okay, so Alicia, Alicia something there. Of course, we reason good because we can't be ignorant. First thing. Let me tell you now again. May I tell you now again. You see your children them are the future, you know. Them are go. We are go and them are come. So we are go up in an age. And them never reach them prime yet. So what you need to do, what you need to do is sit down, teach your kids them to be themselves. Stop making your youth them afraid to come tell you things. Because we are in our serious time now. Now it's wicked. Now them are use gadgets to take the youth. Them. Now I'm not sweetie again to catch the youth. Them. Now our gadgets to catch the youth. Them. Because the youth them want PS2 and the youth them want phone and the youth them want Apple Watch and Amazon this and that and one bag of things. So we need to teach the youth them so you might not be able to buy a Samsung. But I can buy an Alcatel. It's still a phone. It has the same features. It's just a different brand. Branding is what they use and fuck up society now. Because they put a brand on everything. They put a, they put a brand on every fucking thing. So the you, them now. You imagine. How much you ever got through this? How much you ever got through this? Oh mom. I need a book bag. Or mom, I need a pair of shoes. Don't ask them what type of shoes them why not. You go down to town and you buy a pair of shoes. And just because it no mark Gucci, it no mark Clarks, it no mark none of them something there. Mm. Seen? Yeah, that is my son does call. You know him have to call. Easy Mr. Prince. So, that is our problem. When I say the branding, we cause that. Because we are the one that come on social media and brag and say it's pay a brand with Pitney Wear. It's pay a brand with Pitney Wear. So we are to be blamed. Remember, no for we come from boardhouse and zinc shacks. No for we come from some place where four and five we used to sleep on bed and three we are piss bed. You understand? So you can imagine two no piss bed and three piss bed. So you sleep in a piss on a nightly basis. You have to take out the mattress and put it out of the road for sun the month of piss in it. Not for we is coming from that. So why we lost with roots? People are talking about potty train. People are talking about potty train. We never used to go through that. No, we have a thing when you pampas pit near shit in a pull up pampas. You understand? We have come from far. So why are we forgetting where we're coming from and not instilling it in our new generation, our children, our newborn, our seed? Why we are not doing it? We are to be blamed for how the kids are growing today. We are blaming the internet. The internet have a lot of influence on the children, but we should be our biggest influence on the children. 
I tell people this all the while. We no need to go to America because America is right here in Jamaica. That's why you see when they tell you about caption this, you can see little America. Why you think them call boy a little America? You know things that Instagram know what they do when they do that. I make you can't put little America. Because we make the phone get smarter than we know. We make the phone get smarter than us right now. The phone is supposed to be smarter than we because we control the phone. We live in Jamaica and you have places here to rent in the US. You go to certain places in Jamaica, they, they say, how much is that in the US? They can tell you because we watch the dollar on a daily basis. The US dollar is 147, 146 now. 140 a dollar for a, for, for, for a dollar US. And everybody in Jamaica knows the rate. Everybody. So we live in America. Remember when we was liquor growing up in Jamaica? You remember we used to drink chocolate tea. Cocoa tea. But Sunday a chocolate tea we used to drink every Sunday out of inner mill mug. This is for the grown folks, them that over 40 and 35. All of you are, who are 35 who come from Jamaica and 40 have to know about inner mill mug and chocolate tea. All of you the supposed to know that. Don't ever tell me that you forget what is that. Don't ever tell me that. Now we are living with electric stove. Nobody no light. No, no, no. no, 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 no nobody they even know how to light a coal stove again. Because we lose the roots. Breadfruit roast pan stove. This roast pan stove. That roast pan stove. Nobody now got pan coal stove again and say, yo, I could get back to the roots. Come go, get back. Remember why a coal stove and just, me have my backyard. Because they make everything so easy now. But we roots are where we not to lose. We not to lose the roots. Jamaica lost them heritage many years ago. We have lost our heritage. We lost it. But not because Jamaica lose them heritage. That no means say you fi make your picnic don't come grow up and know nothing about Jamaican history. You know how much of them picnic up. Show them I got a private school. They don't know about Paul Bogland, Blood Clot, Norman Manley and George William Garden and Sam Sharp and Marcus Garvey and Nanny of the Maroon. You know much of them blood clad pitney I be a foreign them I teach them about. Them teach the pit them how to speak proper. Yes, it's nice when the pitney sound nice and oh my god, she sounds so intelligent. Wow. She sounds so intelligent that me when I look at girl I say, How are you been I go? How are you been come back? Like people say, I would have looked pitney come from with a little voice there. That's our authenticity. That's our authenticity when you hear a little pitney say, Me mama. Because every parish speak a different language. We speak with a different... It's, not, it's the same language, but we speak it different. A patois. Same way. All are we like when we pick the sound nice. All are we. But the roots of everything when you hear the pick, say, Hey, me, be, me, me, I go up the road. Me, I go up the road. Mobile people speak different. St. Elizabeth people talk different. Kingston people talk different. You know what I mean? Don't make your children them don't come learn about them roots, people. We want the best for our kids them. Remember, you know, go me and go, you know. But my youth, them passed the worst already, you know. Today, them are celebrate 23 years by earth. And at 23 years, me a father. And 23 years, me a teach them. 23 years, me and them go through every stage. You know what I mean? Every stage me and the youth them go through. No found and have no band with the youth. We don't have a relationship with the youth. We don't have nothing. Yes, a lot of them pay the money. A lot of them pay the money. But just paying the money don't make you a father. Once you can be there, be there. If you live overseas and you have to do what you have to do. If you, you know, me understand. Me understand. But you can band on the phone the same way. Don't just let it be about, oh, me send money, I me send money, I me send money. So you have a, a, a monetary relationship. With your child. So your child just knows you because what you can do for her. Because you have never sit down with her and have a... Someone want to talk to a girl more than a blood clot. Talk to a picnic. 
You know reason with a girl and tell her how to love her and pour out on her heart and how to want to fuck her and how to want to take her balls in her mouth two times. How to want to eat on her ass. How to go eat her box. How to discuss fucking for two blood clot hour. And you never sit down with your child and ask her, how oh, is her day? What happened at school today, baby? What's going on with you? You alright? Long time you ain't talking to my daughter. Long time you ain't talking to you and my son. What's going on? Or your head space. You know what I mean? That's why I tell you if you don't ready to be blood clot parents, leave Pitney alone. Don't come in at the people and girl Pitney. And if you mother you're not ready to be the responsible mother, leave the blood clot back shot them alone on the foot pan shoulder them. Leave riding off the boy cocky alone. If you're going to do it, protect yourself. Because you're not ready to be parents yet. I'm tired to see the Pitney them grow themselves. I'm tired to see it. Richie, I know this girl in Jamaica, she kill herself. You know what her family said? Look how much money her mother spent for her. For her school. When she gone down the drain, it's so sad. Yes, so when I talk about all them think about is the blood clot money. All of them thinking about the money. You know, you may tell you no. When the truth comes, the truth will always be an offense. And people, just a while ago on the live before I was speaking about mental, I was speaking about people that say mad. See? But now them change mad to mental health. Because you know, through your Jamaican, mental health is a thing. It are up to the young youth them now. Because where we live through, you know, that generation you can't live through it, you know. When most of us been through. When most of us been through. Wearing one uniform. And the iron all burn it and you still have to wear that same way. Because the iron was too hot. These youth don't live through that because now they're wearing them have seven blows. And seven skirts. You know what I mean? And you used to have one. And three semester pass and you don't get a new uniform. So when them realize that they not get because they used to getting everything every year, like oh I'm gonna get a new bag and I'm gonna get a new shoes and I'm gonna get a new this. Peel you above five bag. And she still get another bag again. So me and I have got sit down and me have to have that reasoning there with her because she's gonna be nine next month. So now she reached the age where me and her have to sit down and reason now. So now is the time where she can understand. Because let her tell you now about age 9. You see age 9. Age 9 is when puberty starts. When puberty starts. The body goes through many changes. My big daughter started seeing her period at 9 years old. When her mother called me and tell me, she said, Missy, I see her period that two days my head hurt me for. Because I said, Jesus Christ, whoa, murder. Lord, whoa, yam ball. I start thinking all kinds of things now. Jesus Christ, murder. Me a fret. Me a talk to myself. Only a real parent will have that concern. Because the body is going through changes with that female. When a nine-year-old starting to see her menstrual cycle, she's not even going to know how to deal with it. She will be at school and playing the same way. Now you have to go teach her about tampons. You have to go teach your dad about all of these things. Now you have to start looking at your dad and I wonder, Jesus Christ, yo, me have to talk to my dad about sex now. Whoa, murder. Oh, I have to talk to my daughter about all of these things, Lord. Beating do not grow your child. That's why I can't deal with certain father and have certain conversation with them. Me and them can't be in the same boat. I'm different. A lot of people sound like father. But yet still, I don't take up the money and go in a shop and go buy a pack of pad. I don't say, sell me a pack of overnight. No, 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 no,
Watch your big man there in your boy pad. Move on a dirty blood clot. So you rather your daughter mess up herself. You too shame and have too much pride to make people see you or buy something for your daughter. Even your woman. Listen me now, um, Tanisha. When I use the word tampons. Tampons is just a use of words. You have many other things now to use. When you say it's not good for a nine-year-old. I was just making references. I was just making references. Remember, you have different type of sanitary things to use. When I say tampons, remember, you know, a long time name because we are talk about golden days to now. Many of you just joined the conversation, so you just catch the part there. Tampons and paddies, what them used to call it. Nobody never used to say sanitary blood clot napkins. Nobody never used to say that. Nobody never used to say that as a young youth. Me used to hear, yo, come buy a pack of pad for me. Come buy a pack of stay free for me. Or sell me a pack of stay free. You know what I mean? Remember, you know, a lot of you are grown adults. But you still have a teenager mind. No found no have a teenager mind. No found no. I understand. So them conversation here. Yeah, bigger than you. Know, but you don't need for ear. Because a lot of you still don't even know when on the time of the month. No females don't even know when at them time of the month and it's so easy now. That's why you see enough of them have all seven blood clad pit me. And them I wonder how it happened. Them I wonder how it happened and what happened and what go on. You understand? Why you think enough of them still in a competition with a young girl? Them are 48. And I compete with a 26 year old. But oh, a young girl no more than me. I still can't fling it up. I still move your blood clot. Time to know yourself. Time to know yourself. You understand? So me is a man where experience teaches wisdom. You know? I don't believe if a guy wants to be a mama man. I don't believe a guy wants to be a mama lashi. I don't care where a guy wants to be. I know where I talk about. So when you have a daughter, when you have a daughter, the love will be different from a son. Because a daughter will need extra attention. A daughter will need extra attention. See? And when I say that, remember, look at you, I go through puberty. You don't know him body start get stiff. And when him body start get stiff, you don't know him no say him feel like look away. Him go and start touch himself. And when him see the first where I call it, sweet water, come out time look a teapot. When him see the sweet water come out time teapot, he must say, oh, what is and him don't know how to angle it, but he must know say I fuck him up. But when the little girl start go through all type of thing, her breast start feel away. She start feel certain type of hormones. Go, you understand? She start go through too much things. Like she need a mother the most. Because of everything a father should do. But if you and them alone, they, they, you have to go do what you have to do. You have to go do what you have to do. You, know? you have to go do what you have to do. No for we are, are afraid. No for we are afraid. You cannot be afraid to take care of your own child. Because... I remember I got one barber shop one time, you know. And I had that conversation with the barber. And I said, How old is your daughter? And I said, daughter, eight. And I said, No, so your daughter soon starts to see period. See? And I said, Who she live with? He said, Her mother. And she come visit. And he give money and he give money. Yes, he give money. So I said, Are you a good father? You think you're a good father? I said, How much time you spend with the child? 
I say if she started to see period and her period came down at your house, how would you angle this? What would you tell her? And him start telling me one bag of fuckery. I never go back to that blood clot barber shop. I never go back there. I never ever ever go back there because me and nah, I with no blood clad look a boy when I no sense. You get pitney, but you don't know how to deal with pitney, especially a daughter. A daughter is sensitive. You know what it's like when your daughter going through her first breakup. When she gets her first love. When she have feelings for boy. And boy now talk to her and she a ball and feel like she, she have everything and she do everything wrong. You know what's that? That is where a father should come in. That is not the mother time now, you know. That is where the father should come in. And remind him daughter who she is. Remind him daughter and tell her she is a queen. Or she is a princess. No for one to know them something because when you busy and send money and one to hear something daughter breed. Oh the girl, big pussy girl, hey, oh the girl let me mash up the whole of my money and re, 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 this and that and that and that and that. Remember them I go have man. Them I go have man. Alright, check my life. I get two youth one time. I get a daughter and a son. Every man love here when time him son of a girl. Yo, my son of a girl, you know. But no man no want hear same daughter of a boy. No man no want hear that. No man. Because true, no for them. The mentally what them, what them have them want deal with them like dog and box down and kick down and thump down. And do all kind of things. So now we have a daughter and one him daughter up in a age and him daughter have a man with punch her in her face and she all of you hide it from him. You know what I mean? So it's like the difference with a father and him son is different from a, a daughter and her father. See? So that's why I tell you that man gets so angry when I see some man. No deal with them daughter good. Let me tell you now next thing. Your daughter will make mistakes. Your children will make mistakes. But they are going to be the one who have to live with the mistake. All you can do is guide them. Never say you fail as a parent if you know you did everything right. Give your child space to grow. Don't rush the child to run. Come get big for take care of you. No child owe you nothing. You did your job as a parent. When you did a take the back shot them. When did I do the foot pan shoulder? When did I wind pan the body like a bicycle? When did I go on with all of them things there? You know what was gonna come? Now you have the responsibility. The responsibility, yes, you comb the ear, you wash the ear, you perm the ear, you make the pitney just like you do everything. Yes. Now the pitney big and reach 18 and 20 and 25. Now the pitney in a good job. Remember, you know, we struggle to make our kids live a better life. We don't struggle. For make with kids them take care away. There's no way the kids should come and take care away. The kids don't owe it. The kids don't owe it. The kids owe it to feed them generation to come. I don't want any help from my daughter and my son. If I get something from them, I say thank you. Because I don't want anything. Not every parent is like that. I'm one of those parents that I don't want. I tell my children them all the while. Save your money. Save your money, build yourself. Save your money and build yourself. When you build yourself, you can't do anything for people. But you can't have your last and sit down and worry about other people. Barbie, you know you can't raise with me anytime. Anytime you're ready. See? I know that a lot of parents have their child. Like it's their bank account. And them pick me and them riches. Your child is your riches. But in a different way. Your child is your blessing. Not your riches. You understand? Watch how the life I got cut off man.